With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is a loop of irregular shape made of flexible conducting wire carrying clockwise current is placed in uniform inward magnetic field such that its plane is perpendicular to the field then the loop. So here we can see the magnetic field is inward and perpendicular to the plane of the loop and here is placed a let's say irregular shape loop. So suppose this is our irregular shape loop placed in this let's say magnetic field region where magnetic field is uniform constant. So we can see here current is flowing suppose in clockwise direction as per the question. So as we know when a current carrying wire is placed in a uniform magnetic field region the magnetic force acting on it is given as I into L cross B vector. This here is our L vector and here by L cross B vector we can see here the force will be perpendicular to L vector as well as vector. Hence the force will be perpendicular to this let's say here. So here it will be lying in the plane of let's say the loop. Now similar way we can see here this force on here this section of the wire will also be perpendicular to the plane of the loop. Here also we can see this force is perpendicular to this L vector as well as this force here is perpendicular to L vector. Hence we can see this force here is acting radially we can say in outward direction so that it stretches this loop so that it occupies maximum area and we can see here this loop changes to a circular loop. Now as we know circular loop has the maximum area as this let's say here force stretches this loop and here forms a perfect circular loop. So we can see here first option that is it experiences force is correct. Next here it develops induced let's say current for a short time and changes to a circular loop. As we can see here this force acting radially outwards here changes this loop to a circular shape and we can see here since initially this let's say area had magnetic flux given here as B into A into cos of theta. Now B and theta although remains constant but here we can see the area of this circular loop increases which means here area increases hence we can say magnetic flux through this loop increases in the inward direction which means here we can say current will be induced in such a way that it will let's say oppose this change in let's say magnetic flux hence current will be induced for only this duration from which the loop changes from irregular shape to let's say here full circular shape as soon as this loop here converts to this circular shape now here magnetic flux will become constant and this induced EMF will let's say be zero as we can see induced EMF is only in the loop as long as there is change in magnetic flux as soon as this occupies a circular shape now magnetic flux becomes constant as area becomes constant in that case we can say induced EMF in the loop will become zero hence we can say develops induced current for a short time here there will be an induced current in the loop for a short time only when it changes from irregular shape to let's say circular shape after that here since flux becomes constant the induced current and induced let's say EMF will be zero. So option number two is also correct. Hence we can say amongst the four option we have here option number four that is all of these as the correct answer. So option four is our answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.